Hi friends, welcome to Vidya's Cooking. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare idli upma, which is prepared for evening tiffin or for morning breakfast itself. Very simple ingredients required and we need a day old idlis for this recipe. The recipe in detail will be posted in the description box below this video or you can click the icon above this video which will direct you to my blog. I have reheated uh, a day old idlis and reserved. This is microwaved and it's reserved. We will also require finely chopped onions, chilies, dried red chilies and curry leaves. The chilies are slit in the middle and reserved. And for the tempering we would require mustard seeds, black gram dal, chickpeas, peanuts, asafoetida and turmeric powder. Now I'm going to start preparing the idli upma. I've heated a pan on medium flame. To the pan, I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil smokes a bit, at that point I'm going to be adding the mustard seeds, split chickpeas, Split black gram and peanuts. I'm going to fry all these ingredients. I'm going to allow the mustard seeds to splutter and also the dals and peanuts to cook a bit. Now I've added the asafoetida powder and I'm going to fry all the ingredients till the dals turn light brown in color. Once the dal and the peanuts turn light brown in color, I've added the dried red chilies. I've just broken the dried red chilies in half and added it and fried it for a minute's time and I've also added the onions, curry leaves and slip green chilies. We'll be frying the onions till it turns light pink in color. I've placed this on medium flame. Now once the onion has started to sweat and turn light pink in color, at that point I've added a teaspoon of ghee. And we'll also be adding salt as per taste. As my ghee melts, I'm going to add a little bit of that turmeric powder and fry the onions. The onions need to cook and it also needs to turn light brown in color. So I've just sprinkled a little bit of water and allow the onions to cook thoroughly. And at the same time it has to turn light brown in color. It should not burn so that's the reason I've added a little bit of water. I've just sprinkled a little bit of water. So once the moisture evaporates the onion will start turning light brown in color. So at that point, I'm just going to crumble the idlis and add it to the onion mixture. The recipe in detail will be posted in the description box below this video or you can click the icon above this video which will direct you to my blog. Also like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. All the links to my social media will also be in the description box below this video. The same recipes are also posted in YouTube channel. YouTube channel link will also be in the description box below this video. Now once I've crumbled and added the idlis, I'm just going to give it a good mix in that masala and also check for salt and now add salt if needed. We just need to reheat this and serve it up. This is a common tiffin item served throughout South India. It's served during tea time. It's also prepared for breakfast. It's, this is a wonderful recipe to prepare when there are leftover idlis at home. The once I've given the idlis a good mix in that masala and it's reheated, I've just sprinkled it with a little bit of the coriander, chopped coriander and 
little bit of lime juice. I'm going to give this a final mix and serve it. Do try this recipe friends and also subscribe to me for regular updates. If you enjoyed watching this video recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me. I've gone ahead and served this idli upma. Turned out really nice. My parents enjoyed it. The recipe in detail will be in the description box below this video or you can click the icon above this video which will direct you to my blog. Not only this recipe, there are more recipes along with reviews. I'll be seeing you soon with the next video recipe. Until next time, this is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.